Once you have the monitor out of the box, you're gonna set it on your desk like this with the monitor face facing up. You're gonna take your first DVI cable and you're gonna plug it into the center DVI port and that's your back port. Make sure it's completely screwed in. Take the other end of that DVI cable and plug it in to the first port on your video card. It could either be the top port, bottom port, left port, or right port, doesn't matter. Take your second DVI cable and plug it in to the left DVI port on the monitor. And that is your front DVI port. Take the other end of the DVI cord and put it in the remaining slot on your video card. Then take your power cord and plug it in the power port on the monitor. Once you're done with that, go ahead and take your monitor stand, put it in front of the monitor, lift up the monitor, seat it correctly, and just snap it right in. Once you start up your computer, if you see a white screen, completely white screen, you wanna put on your IZ2D glasses and see if you can see your desktop or your login screen. If you do, go ahead and shut the computer back down and switch the DVI cables on the back of the computer and restart it back up. Once you've started up your computer, go ahead and install the drivers. Go through your terms of agreement, license agreement, your change log, where you wanna install the drivers. And once you get here, you have a choice of default installation or a custom installation. If you're just using the IZ3D monitor, then pick default. The screen will go blank for a second. It'll come back up and ask you if it's okay to install the hardware, go ahead and click continue anyways on both times. When you're finished, check run control center. In the control center, we can make sure that you have everything set up correctly, your hardware and your software. Go to the help section of the drivers and click on static test. Static test will test your hardware setup. Put on your IZ3D glasses. If you see 3D, then your hardware is set up correctly. Press escape, and now we want to test your software click on dynamic test. The dynamic test will come up. Put on your IZ3D glasses. If you see 3D, then your software is working. Once you've made sure that your hardware and software is working, go ahead and start up a game. We'll use Unreal Tournament 2004 for this. Go ahead and press your hotkey to turn 3D on. Your default setting will be 20% separation. Put on your IZ3D glasses. The way we do this is that you'll want to make a little bit more separation. So I like to go to about 80%. Then we want to take your convergence. And your convergence is usually your weapon, or if you're in a third person view, your character is your convergence point. It's where the cameras or your eyes would converge on one point. We want to bring that into focus. And for us, that's shift plus or minus. So I'm going to hit shift and plus, and I'll start seeing my gun come together. Once I've done that, I'm gonna put in a little bit more separation. Now you don't wanna bring the separation all the way to zero because that would be zero 3D. So bring it down to somewhere where you're comfortable with it. Once you're there, you can go around and play in 3D. You can change settings or you can turn on autofocus. So if your convergence point changes, if you come to a wall, the autofocus will focus the camera on that certain point. That's how to set up your IZ3D monitor. See you in the game.